Well, welcome back again, everyone. Today I have a very interesting cigar to review. This is from Victor Vitali, and this is the Tortuga 215 Reserva, and the size is the Tributo 6x56. Now, this cigar is, uh, if, if presentation means anything, this is a really nice cigar. Look at the, the gold foil on the band there. It's very nice. Red band at the foot. There's the density. This cigar is a 56 ring, but because of its box press, it plays off smaller. It actually doesn't look like a 56 ring. But nevertheless, Victor Vitali has actually uh, two cigars which I'll be reviewing. This is the first today, the uh, uh, Tortuga 215 Reserva, and there will also be the Aura Vivo Armand Asante. Uh, that'll be coming down the road. Now, a little more about this cigar. It is distributed by Legacy Brands Cigar Company, and these are very limited and very limited shops. Um, cigar maker is Victor Vitale. Comes in four different sizes, from five by fifty-four all the way up to six by uh, seven and a half by fifty-eight. Uh, it's produced at a Honduran uh, production factory. And the uh, cigar is all Nicaraguan, uh, wrapper, binder, and filler. Comes in packages or boxes of 27. So let's get right to it. It's a very nice looking cigar. Has a little shine to the wrapper. Uh, I like that. Um, nice dark, darker brown uh, in color. And it has a nice feel in the hand. So uh, let's get right to it. The uh, Tortuga 215 Reserva. All right, let's remove this. Uh, let's remove this band from the foot here, and it should. It does. It'll slide right off. That is an effortless draw. Fantastic draw. The very first puffs here are giving me a nutmeg cedar combination with sweetness, a ton of earth and leather notes, and very nice pepper, which right now I would put at about an eight. There's much more earth than there is leather. The leather would be more underlying. So that's how it starts, right out of the gate. Those are your flavors. Uh, nice start. Let's see where we go from here. Victor Vitale's Tortuga 215. Well, I'm about three-fourths of an inch in, and I'm very satisfied with the initial assessment. I guess I need to sort of give you a breakdown of percentages of these flavors because they're not equal, and they're not equal. You initially get an obvious cedar with some sweetness and a nutmeg combination. Immediately following that, you get a combination of leather and earth. Now, the, the percentages I want to give you is the percentage of earth to the leather. It's probably a 70-30 split, earth to leather. It's quite obvious that there's a lot of earth there, leather undertones. 
and that's if if you can picture it in your mind or, or imagine the taste of, of of initial sweet cedar and nutmeg, and then quickly followed by a massive amount of earth notes with underlying leather. That's what you have. Uh, the pepper is a white pepper. I'm calling it a white pepper, and it's very good. It's about, like I said, rated about an eight. The finish. Is almost a caramelized cream. It's uh, another way that I may describe it is a um, a toasted cream, but it's um it has a caramel like texture to it or taste. There is some lingering white pepper also. Uh, I would call the cigar initially at this stage, and we're very early. Um, very close to medium to full body. It's a uh, it has that feel of a medium to full body cigar. So that's where we are uh, after things settle down, if you will. So the cigar is starting out very nice. I like the flavors. I'd like to see where it goes from here. Hang in there, we will. Well, I'm right at the bands, so we need to remove those. But here at this point, not a lot has changed. The initial flavor assessment is still uh, uh, in, in, in play. Um, the only change, if you will, and it's a small one, is the nutmeg seems to be a little heavier than the uh, cedar nuts. Other than that, about the same. Let's carry on. So I've got about two and a half inches remaining. And the only thing really is this different here, and there are two points. One, I'm gonna call it a nutmeg cedar combination because the nutmeg is more prominent of the two. The other thing is the earth notes have decreased, the leather notes have really dropped off, but the introduction of oak along with that earth is an obvious uh, addition. The oak notes are very noticeable and they quickly follow the nutmeg cedar combination and then comes your earth. So uh, other than that, it's about the same. The uh, finish is about the same, it's still medium body. And at this point, I'm about 57 minutes in. Well, I'm here at the end, so let's wrap it up. Cigar didn't have a lot of changes, as you can see through the video. Uh, here at the end, the oak notes really became quite prominent. The um, leather dropped off completely. Uh, the earth notes remained, but the uh, oak was a little more prominent than the uh, earth notes. The nutmeg cedar combination had a little sweetness to it, had no richness, and I would like for it to have had that, but uh, it didn't. Uh, the finish remained the same. The uh, uh, body of cigar remained constant at medium to full. The pepper remained about constant. So the cigar was very good just lacked a couple things that I personally like and look for, but uh, well worth you trying. Very limited, very limited shops carry them, so uh, if you find them, do try them. And uh, uh, for me, this, the cigar wound up a score 88. So there you have it, the Victor Vitale Tortuga 215 Reserva, and this size, the Tributo 6x56. Final score, 